Hey everybody, Mac to Monster, back with Marvel Heroes. Now, of course, as promised, we finish with Falcon. And um, hopefully Falcon will stick around quite a while. I'll show off his skills, uh, both sets, and then I'm going to try to take him to the end and have him fresh up for the Dr. Octopus kill on a Cosmic and see if he's alive at the end of the fight. So... What I'm doing here is I'm just going to got them set up. I'm using, obviously, the uh, reduce the cooldown by one second per kill. And we're going to do the Falcon Die, which is basically a uh, death from above attack. Uh, he actually doesn't take damage while doing it, so it's actually a usable attack if you like it. And the C4 rounds, which by far I think are the best ones out there. They do extra damage to bosses and elites, and they last quite a while, 15 seconds. Although, I don't know if they'll actually have much of a visual effect, but uh, we'll see if you can't get a look at both of those. And let's see what we got. We're burning down our bounty hunter pretty good. Oh, wrong button. There's this crash down strike. Why he's sitting on top of everything, I have no idea. Let's see if we can't pull him back. Well, that might be the crash down strike causing him to go into there. He's staying where he lands. So now I don't know if I like that so much. Did he die? Why, yes he did. Let's go back and switch him out. So now we'll go to suppression fire, which is what I usually use, and shack and awe, which is something I don't usually use. I usually use those C4 rounds. And we'll get his cooldown started. So there's that suppression. That's the suppression. The first one was the shock and awe, I think. So that's good. We got to see both. That was pretty easy. Ah, that's shock and awe right there, I think. As you can see, this is keeping him pretty much at range. Yeah, range is doing much better than the other ones. He's kind of adding to my AoE damage.
I got the bounty hunter uh, reward, so let's go. How much time does he have? Five seconds. So he's summonable. Still there. Well, he got out of that one. He might live. He might be the first. You can do it, Falcon. Nope, he died. But he made it all the way to the end. He is definitely the one that does the best. Which is why. I saved him for last, which is why if you want to run with any of these guys as pets, he's the one I recommend, because you can keep him at bay the longest, he'll stay the farthest away, he has a chance to avoid those cosmic auras. But as you can see, he still died, he's summonable, but he didn't make it to the end this time. I did a pretty good job of burning down Octopus too. Um, so that's it. That's everything about the team ups. Other than that, uh, if you don't want to deal with the pets and you don't like the fact that they just die like a heartbeat and you got to worry about them, go with the buffs. The buffs are pretty good. And in which case, Falcon's buffs are pretty good. Firestar's buffs are pretty good. Magic's buffs not bad. And it's really uh, hero dependent. So uh, they're kind of expensive. For buffs though, which is what it's coming down to. And I really think they should uh, not be so easily dead for the little bits of damage they actually do when they're out there. And I think whether or not they're out, you should get the buff. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. So I hope it helps. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to everybody later.